Welcome to the first episode of Building My New Studio. So in this first episode, we're going to be taking a look at the Apex Desk and some LifeX bulbs, among a few other products. So you guys will see that in a few seconds. But first, let me just talk about what this series is and give you guys a quick intro to it. So if you didn't know, a few weeks ago, I headed off to Toronto and I vlogged it. You can check right up here if you missed any of the vlogs. But you guys really like the vlogs and I really like making them. So I decided that I'm going to do this series and I'm going to make it vlog style so you can still get the vlogs but then we also get some tech mixed in. It's going to be an informal personal vlog style series of making my new setup. So I mentioned this a few weeks ago on Periscope and a few people did their own take on what I was saying I was going to do in the future and I definitely liked what they did but I want to bring my own twist to it. So here's the idea. I'm going to bring you guys with me every time I set something up in the space whether it's the lights, the desk, or just posters, whatever I'm doing to make the space my own space, I'll show it to you guys. And um, I'm gonna go in depth in each product I'm bringing in so you guys can see why I picked it and if you should pick it. Then after all the episodes are done, I'm, I'm thinking it will be around like three or four. Obviously we'll have to see in terms of timing and what we're bringing in. But once the space is semi done, cause you never really finish the space, you're always adding stuff. But once it's almost fully complete, I will then do a vlog style setup tour, so I'll bring you guys around with me, just showing you guys why I put certain things in here, what I put in, why I decided to do certain things, kind of like the tricks that I did to do certain things like cable management, or anything really in between. So we'll obviously see where it takes us, but kind of hoping that this will be personal, but still semi-professional, and I think that you guys will really enjoy the mix between a vlog and tech. So I'm gonna stop talking, let's bring you guys to the new space so you guys can go check it out and we can start building stuff. Okay, so here's your first look at the new studio. So it's pretty empty right now with the exception of the Apex desk behind me. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at what I wanna do in here and then I'll show you guys the desk. So the first thing after you walk in, if you go right over here, there's gonna be a TV here. So I'm not sure which one. It's gonna either be 1080p or 4K, not sure about that either yet. Um, and probably like 40 or 36 or 37 inches, somewhere around there. Um, but yeah, so that's what the outlets are doing here. And then in this area, I'm gonna have a second desk and then above that, I'm going to have some artwork, obviously. And then I'm also going to have a shelf. So I obviously could have to get some artwork up. And I already have a few different pieces. But if you guys want to make any artwork for it or you think there's any cool artwork that would go well in here, definitely send it to me in an email and I'll be sure to check it out. But yeah, so we're going to have one desk here, some artwork above it, and a shelf. And then if we move around this way, I'm kind of thinking that I might get a light or a lamp here or some storage. And then of course I have the desk, which I'll discuss more in a few seconds. And then over here, we have some shelving where I'll keep more products. And I'm going to add more shelving around the whole studio, so there's gonna be shelving above this desk as well. And then on this final wall, I'm gonna have another shelf, and that shelf is gonna be my gear. So I'm gonna be able to put all my gear down there and then just pick it up and play. And then I'm gonna have another desk over here from Ikea, of course, and then we just have some outlets and stuff. This wall is gonna be pretty plain, except for the shelf, a desk, and some artwork. I don't wanna crowd the space up too much, so I'm gonna try to keep only the things that I need in here and only the things that will decorate the space and make it look good. So obviously I didn't address anything that I'm putting in the middle and the reason for that being is in the middle I'm going to take this desk from over here and bring it over here when I'm doing live unboxings and stuff so that should be pretty good but otherwise I want to leave this pretty empty so I can record b-roll and stuff because with all my gear, soft boxes, with all my lights, tripods, all my gear it's going to get pretty crowded so I'm going to try to leave the middle space pretty empty. That's kind of what the space looks like now let's take a look at the Apex desk. Okay so if you don't know who Apex is basically they're a company that makes some of the best motorized desks out there and motorized meaning that it can be a sit and a stand desk so you can adjust the height and it has a motor in it in order to do so which i'll demonstrate in a second or two apex makes some of the most high quality desks out there and they're really relatively affordable for the market of sit stand desks and they also look really good so here's like a look at the desk they come in multiple different colors um, and multiple different lengths and styles. This one is a 71 inch desk, I believe, in the white color, as you guys can see here. And the desk looks really nice for sure, and it has a little carved out space in the middle, so when you use it to stand, you can be closer to your stuff, which is really cool, and you don't see that on many other desks. But what's really cool about this is that if you want to stand up, you can. So with just a regular desk that doesn't move, it's actually really bad for you to sit for extended periods of time. And as a YouTuber, you end up doing that a lot when you're editing videos, or anything else. So it's nice to be able to sit, but then go over here to the remote control and just move up the desk.
So it moves really easily and what's really cool about it is that you can move it from a multitude of heights and then you can also set presets. So for example, I set preset number one at 37 inches. So what you do is you hold it down and it will go down to 37 inches. And you have four different presets and then you can also adjust it with um, the up and down arrows. So I can go up to 39 inches, I can go back down to 37 inches when I want. Um, so that's really cool that you can just easily adjust it. It's not too loud and it works very, very well. And it's definitely cool in the middle of an edit how I can just stand up and start editing again. And it also will be really cool for B-roll shots. So what I can actually do is I can bring up the desk and have it be like a really cool shot um, and add some movement to the shot. Um, which is really nice and cool. So not only is it great for your health, but it also can add some really cool shots. And some other cool features that it has built in, as I said before, the nice preset remote controller. And then in the back over here on both sides, you have some built-in cable management, which is really nice. You can move this like so, and then you can run your cable through, right through the hole, which is really nice. And it's definitely um, really nice to see that it has built-in cable management. Um, you don't see that on many desks, let alone a motorized desk. The premium feeling that it makes you healthier and the cool b-roll shots make this desk definitely worth it. In terms of setting up this desk, it was actually relatively simple. I'll show you guys the setup guide. So this desk is the Elite Series, and I'll show you guys the assembly guide, and I'll show you guys the most difficult parts that I got stuck up on, so then you guys don't make the same mistakes and you guys can save time. In the beginning, it was very easy. The directions are very clear. And then if you go over here, this is the first step that I got stuck on. So basically, there's um, poles that go in here in order to secure the legs. Um, and they're shaped in a jagged way. So um, you actually have to put them in with the bump facing up and not down or the legs will move. And I didn't look at the instructions clearly enough. So I put them in the reverse way with the bump face down. And that's definitely not a mistake you wanna make. That's very important to have the bump face up in order to secure the leg. Be sure to look at the way this looks here and make sure that your bump is face up. The next thing to note is if you get this new controller, which has the four presets built in, they haven't made a control box for it yet. So it's not actually gonna fit in the spot, which I was really confused by and I didn't see the sheet right away. So make sure that you're either gonna put cable ties around it or drill it in, as you can see over here. The cable ties is definitely easy and it works. So I would just advise doing that. But don't get stuck like I did for like 10 minutes trying to figure out why it didn't fit. Just put cable ties around it like you can see here and it's actually very secure. So those were the two things that I got stuck up on. Otherwise, I would say if you listen to those two things, this should take you at most like 30 to 40 minutes. It took me like 50 to 55 minutes as I got stuck on those two things. But if you listen to what I said, installation is really simple. All you need to know is how to use a screwdriver and an Allen wrench and you should be set. If you do want a full video on how to actually set this up, definitely let me know by leaving a like in this video and a comment down below and we can definitely make that happen. Okay, so the next thing that you guys are probably noticing is how bad the lighting is right now. Um, and obviously, I'm shooting product videos, so I can't have the lighting be bad, so we're gonna install six LifeX bulbs, and hopefully that in combination with the LED lights and lamps that we're getting in, that I'll show you guys in a little bit, will be really great for the studio. So yeah, these are LifeX Color 1000 bulbs. Basically, they turn to 16 million different colors, and they're smartphone controlled. In my old space that I had, I had, I think, 10 or 12 of them. So in this space, we're also gonna have, I think, like nine or 10 of them. Um, so these are gonna be for overhead. So yeah, let's cut into these and I'll show you guys what you get in the box. So the LifeX Color 1000s are relatively inexpensive smart light bulbs. I, they run for about 50 bucks right now on Amazon. If you wanna pick them up, I'll drop a link in the description down below. Um, but they are the Color 1000s, but then LifeX also offers white 800s, which are also smartphone control bulbs but they go for around 30 or $40, so they're cheaper. So if you just want different types of white, then you can go get those. The Color 1000 also does different types of white, so if you want both, then I would definitely say go for the Color 1000. So if you didn't know um, how to set these up, basically what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to screw them in. So let me do that quickly. Okay, so the bulb is screwed in. So now what I have to do is I have to connect it to Wi-Fi. So what you want to do in order to do this is you go into your settings app to do it. Okay, and you can see the bulb right here. So we're just going to click on it and it will connect and then it will come up saying it's connected. We're going to go back into the application and connect to our Wi-Fi. Okay, right now it's connected. So 
Once it connects, then what you can do is you can set up different rooms and scenes. So this room is gonna be different from the other LifeX bolts I have. So I'm gonna set this up as my studio room and now I can control all the lights in the studio. So I'm gonna call this new location my studio, click okay. So now what I can do is I can turn it off. You can see it right there going off. I can turn it on and off by just clicking it. So if I go into here, I can obviously adjust the whites, but then I can also do colors. So I can make it 16 million different colors. And that really changes the mood. And then there's also different effects. So I can do a color cycle effect. I can do a candle flicker. I can do spooky. I can do strobe. So I can do all different things here. I can also do different themes. I can do like a relaxing theme and the bulb relaxes. So that's definitely gonna be cool when I have all six in. So I'm gonna quickly open all six and get them in and then we can play around with them and I'll show you guys them a bit more. Okay, so I now have three set up, so what I can do is I can turn all three off now, and then I can also adjust them at the same time, so I can make them all pink, and that adds like a really nice tone to the room, and the whole room is pink, so yeah, it's really cool, three more to go, but three looks really nice so far. Okay, so all the six bolts are in now, so I can just turn them off and back on, and they work really nicely, I can make them all the same color, as you can see here, I can change the color of all of them at the same time. I can also go into themes, and now I can make them like energizing, I can make them soothing. My favorite is probably powerful. It's very orangey and red, it looks cool. Focusing is also good. Halloween, also cool, very orange. Then we also have Dream, which is like bluish. Um, I'll probably use that while editing or blissful. I mean, all of these are really nice. I'll bring you guys around the room so you can see. Okay, we are back on white now, but overall, yeah, the room, you can really change the tone of the room by just adding light text to it, um, and it's definitely going to be really cool for our shots. And I also have some light text lamps, which I'll add onto my desk, which will be really cool in the background of my videos. You've been seeing them if you watch my live unboxings. Um, but I think I'm going to end episode one here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me feedback in the comments down below. I can always learn more. Um, I just wanted to show you guys the Apex desk, kind of how to set it up, and the light text bulbs. Next episode, we're gonna be bringing down my stuff and really adding more stuff to the studio. So that should be a little bit longer and more um, packed with different things. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. All my social medias are here and linked down below. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys all for watching. Bye.